Thank you, Madam President. Madam President, I rise in support of this piece of legislation, and I want to thank my good Senator Moore for her hard work. Um, I've seen her draft this, or I should say gather the information to draft this important piece of the legislation where she met with the residents, where she took her time and went to the the mobile home park and where she talked to the the owners of the park and, and uh, so much so that I couldn't even get into the office that day because she was at the table meeting trying to make sure that she had, that both sides, um, their concerns were addressed. My uh, professional career has been in affordable housing and deeply subsidized affordable housing, something that we don't have today. And as my good chair, as my good colleague, Senator Maroney stated earlier, is that we have to make sure that we keep the housing stock that we have, that families cannot be displaced. I learned something in this process. My family in South Carolina, most of their homes are mobile homes. I didn't know that you don't own the land because my family owns the land. I didn't know that the homes in Connecticut, that they, didn't, they don't own the land. So I've learned a lot here. And I heard my colleague, Sim, uh, Senator Sampson, say that people have to be educated. Well, I've been educated here today. And I think those that are watching have been educated as well. So I want to thank, again, Senator Moore, thank you for your hard work. I want to thank Representative Luxembourg as well. And I heard those families, the owners, during the public hearing. And the first, you know, right for refusal, they want to make sure that they have a home. And as my good colleague, Senator Cabrera, stated, these individuals are on fixed income. And so a lot of them, the only income increases they have is what Social Security will give you. And what is that, 3%? And we said that the cost of living is going up, so we go into the grocery stores. We could barely buy food these days. So I think that we have a fiduciary responsibility as a state to make sure these families are protected and that they have a roof over their heads. Thank you, Madam President.